All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are finally back on the Exo Zombies grind, and we are going to be covering the second map of Exo Zombies, which is Infection, aka Burger Town. One of the most memed zombies maps of all time, and it's honestly for good reason because this map has a lot of problems, and there's a lot of really stupid things about it. But there are some interesting things, and the Easter egg is a lot more involved than the last map's Easter egg, so this should be interesting. Again, I didn't really play this map a ton, and I never did the Easter egg, so we'll see how this goes. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Burger Town Zombies, aka Infection. Good old Burger Town Zombies, oh my, I just cannot wait. Let's go ahead and get the power on. This map has, dear God, it has so many weird additions. Like there's some survivors you have to escort and you get punished if you don't. The map itself is just a giant meme in terms of it being Burger Town. And the Easter egg is gonna be uh, not the hardest, but you know, it's definitely going to be interesting. But anyways, uh, first step, is gonna involve us going down into some sewers, but there is actually something in the spawn room that we cannot access yet, which is this frying pan. We need to get the exosuit, double jump up there, grab that later for the Easter egg. I hate how in different games you have some where it takes like four shots to kill to the leg and then eight, which is just always the classic like eight shots in the knife or seven shots in knife, whatever it was. Let's grab exomedic. And uh, we can actually get a tier 25 PAP in this map too. Wow. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, there's not really a ton of new additions. There is a new wonder weapon. There's some new traps and mechanics, but there's no new perk. I don't think Exos ever added a new perk. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think there's a new perk in Exos. All right, open up to Atlas Command. There's about three or four different like districts to this map, different areas. I gotta be honest, all of them really just suck. Especially the sewers, that's where we have to go next. And the sewers is probably the worst part of this whole map. Absolutely hate it. And the doors are so dang expensive. Look at that crap, man. 2,000? Bro. There's already an exo guy out? Chill. Okay, that's enough for now. Let me go ahead and grab this camo. All right, down into the sewers we go. You know what, but why though? Um, first step is we have to turn some valves around this place, and this step is just not, not for me. Let's go and grab the exosuit. Not really a fan of this step, to be honest, because there's so many different areas, different possible locations for the valves. It's not hard, but it's really just time consuming. Lots of back and forth. So, thankfully, with the power of editing, you guys won't have to sit through all this. We'll go ahead and get the power on. We should make this place a little brighter. Oh yeah, this machine's kind of neat because I believe it gives you like active camo when you buy it. Okay, here's the first valve. So we turn each one just once. So now there's going to be a new valve somewhere else. We'll have to look for that. Okay, here's the second one. I just want to add like, it's funny how the exosuit in the first map was in this high-tech laboratory area where you would expect it to be. And then in this map, it's just randomly thrown into the freaking sewers. Nice. Having a hard time finding this third valve. I hate how it automatically ends the round after a certain amount of time. That's so not cool when you're doing an Easter egg. Oh, I hate that, but... Holy... Yeah, what, mate? I'm gonna have to pop active camo. I was not expecting there to be that many in the corner. Good God. Bro, where is this thing? I hate this step so much. First step, and I already just absolutely despise it. Hi, how are you? Okay, yeah, it's on the wall. Well, at least we finally got the third one. Hopefully we can get the fourth one quickly. Okay, it's right here. That third one was absolute pain to find. All right, so now that basically opened up this ritual area and now we have to go get the frying pan from the spawn and place it and do a little wave defense. Gotta get up here, double jump, pick that boy up. We got a gold frying pan. Oh, we got dogs, I didn't realize. Okay, hold on. Hold on, puppers. I'm gonna go down here and uh, buy a better gun. This thing's actually not too bad early on. But let's go ahead and place this. Now we gotta do some defense. So, boom. 
Boom. Oh, yeah. If we can get this done early, I'd be really happy about that. Thankfully, they're still walking for the most part. I don't know why they do that little pause. <laughs> this is kind of rough right now, not gonna lie. This is awkward positioning. What do you mean by that? Because we have to do it in the circle, I believe. I always like this shotgun. Literally a dubstep shotgun. Not everyone's so lucky. Got a survivor oh god, alright. So we have to go escort a survivor. This is the worst part of this map. Basically, there's just random dudes that pop up that you have to escort to safety. And if you don't do it, which it can be kind of hard sometimes. If you don't do it, you literally have an entire area of the map uh, locked off, I believe. And you don't have power or something like that. Actually, I think the area lockdowns just happen throughout the game. But you lose power and like you can't really do crap and you get EMP'd, which is really annoying. But thankfully, it's still an early round, so this should be easy escort. Oh no! Somebody pick this man up. I wish the helicopter would hurry up and pick this guy up. There we go. All right, he's gone. Okay, get me out of here. And I believe for doing that, we get a free PAP upgrade for our currently equipped weapon. I don't remember when it happens. I think it's at the end of the round. All right, so we'll get an upgrade for this shotgun. I'll take it. Get a Mark... Oh, Mark II. Yeah, right. I was about to say Mark one. Uh, and at a certain point, a big old boss zombie is going to come out and try to absolutely destroy our entire existence. We'll hopefully have that happen after we're done with this step. If he comes down here during, that's going to be rough. Of course, now the freaking AI rocket drone guy is just completely ruining my entire step. Bro, don't go over there and kill him. Don't do that. Go away. Uh, okay, we got infected around. Can you believe it? We got an infected round on the map infection. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. I'll tell you what, this gun is really doing some work right now in these early rounds. I hate how long the infected round lasts. I'm gonna go ahead and head over to Burger Town to grab Jug or Exo Health real quick before we do this next step. I'll also grab uh, Speed Cola Reload as well. Alright, here we go. To Burger Town, the entire point of this map. Get the power on. We got our upgrade station. We got this mascot named Bubby. Literally, the whole Easter egg is just making this man some food. Can you believe it? All right, let's head back down. See if we can go ahead and finish this frying pan step. I'm going to buy some of these uh, contact grenades because these things are really nice. So, yeah, we'll know we're done with this step because the frying pan will rise up from the ground and then we can pick it back up. Ah, we didn't finish it this round. That's sad. We're probably gonna have big ol' Brutus-looking guy come out and try to kill us this round. Yeah, alright. Here we go. Good day, fleshy mammals. Bro, how did he drop down into the sewers? Okay, so yeah, this guy's a straight psycho. He has rockets, he has a big shield, a big bonk hammer. He's honestly one of the scariest-looking boss zombies in Call of Duty Zombies. I'm not gonna lie. Thankfully, the shotgun's pretty decent, so... Okay, here come the other boys. Die, you foul beast! Oh god. I think I'm actually gonna go buy a slam real quick. That's a bad time to lose the exosuit. That's a bad time. There we go. I just freaking barrel stuff that guy. Get out of my game. Alright, we're done. Thank god. Okay, let's go ahead and take this frying pan back up. Now it's looking a little dirty, a little disgusting. Now we have to go take the frying pan and place it in Burger Town. And, you know, most people probably knew this, but Burger Town originated from the Modern Warfare 2 campaign and quite an iconic mission. Ever since then, I guess they just decided to keep bringing it back, which is kind of neat, but always liked uh, Burger Town. So here we go. We got the frying pan up. Now there is a really annoying step that we have to do in which we have to find chunks of meat i believe four chunks of meat around the map and place on the frying pan and this is literally like one of the longest most tedious steps of all time thankfully with the power of editing it will not be that bad but for me it's probably going to be 30 45 minutes of running around like a complete idiot okay here we go so we got the first chunk of meat in case it hasn't really dawned on people what exactly we're doing in this easter egg, we're making a nasty zombified burger. 
I don't even know who thought this was a good idea for an Easter egg, but hey, we're doing it. So we'll go ahead and put this on. Three more that we have to put. You would think that's more than enough for a burger, but my God, you have to put a lot on there. Oh, of course, the round ended on its own, and now Burger Town's being contaminated. So yeah, we literally can't go to that area for this round, which is so stupid. A lot of really dumb things that this map had. I guess we can go over here now. Haven't opened up to here. What's this place called? Like, yeah, value voltage. See if maybe we can hit the box. We do have to get the wonder weapon for this map for the Easter egg. So we're gonna have to get lucky with the box, which it turns out the box is actually entirely random. In my last video, I was saying that it had to be timed. I thought it had to be timed because I, that's just how I always remembered this game and it's a box, but I was wrong. It is not timed, it is completely random, so my apologies for that misinformation. Apology accepted, Captain. Bro, another survivor right now? I don't wanna do that right now. Let's go ahead and buy this perk. Get Exo Soldier. Not exactly what I want. Okay, here's the second chunk of meat, thankfully. Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? It's dual wield. It's kind of neat. Okay, there we go. Toxic zone disabled. So let's go put this other piece of meat up there. And we got two more after that. Bro, is he down the sewers? Yeah, he's down the sewers. Oh my god. Alright. And plus, he like tries to fight the zombies sometimes too, which is extremely annoying. Because all he has is his fists. It's like, dude, you need to focus on running out of here. Don't look back, keep running. This man is literally running so slow. You have an entire zombie horde around you. Don't you think you could go a little bit faster? Just a little bit? All right, did he get escorted? I, I hope he did, thank God. Another shotgun. Oh no, 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 no. This is a bad spot. Oh, we got out of there, oh my God. All right, I'm gonna let it pap this instead. There we go. Seven hours later. Hey, uh, post recording Lucky Sevens here. I just want to say for some reason I forgot to showcase the third piece of meat. So you're about to see me pick up the fourth and final one. Apologies for that. Don't really know why I didn't see it, but whatever. Regardless, it's not really that important anyway. So back with the video. Get me out. Get me out. Reload, reload, reload. Holy crap. Oh my god, the meat is right there. I cannot believe I'm. All right. Look, you guys probably already saw that. Saw me run past it like 40 times. I, I get it, you know. It's quite embarrassing. I'll be honest, I don't know how I missed that, but whatever. And now we have to cook it. And in order to cook it, you have to get the Magnetron Wonder Weapon out of the box. And you know how my box luck is, so this will be interesting. All right, Magnetron. Oh, we got the Wonder Weapon from the last map. Great. Hey, Explosive Drone, I'll take that. Or distraction drone, my bad. I'll be nice. Always good to have some monkeys. Is this the Magnetron? Okay, yeah, it is. I'm not gonna lie, the model kind of had me confused for a second. So yeah, we got the Magnetron. We can go cook this big chunk of meat. Um, but first, I'm gonna upgrade the crap out of this thing. Go ahead and get this going. Yeah, this thing's uh, an interesting wonder weapon. It's basically like a microwave gun. Just go ahead and demonstrate. Just absolutely destroy that guy. It's not exactly amazing. I mean, none of the Exo Zombies wonder weapons can even come close to the Treyarch wonder weapons, but I mean, it is fun. Let's go ahead and cook this patty. Oh yeah, we're cooking now. So the next step is we have to go down in the sewers and we have to kill a Burger Town employee zombie and pick up the bun for this beautiful burger, this beautiful zombie burger that we're gonna make. And Oh, we already got our Burger Town employee. There we go, let's get the bun. Okay, so when we place this bun, I believe we're gonna pick up the burger and get infected. That's nasty. Yeah, okay, so now we gotta go quickly head down and decontaminate. I'm gonna grab these credits real quick. So we'll go decontaminate, and then we're gonna hand this newly cleansed burger over to old Bubby. Alrighty, go ahead and cleanse that. You know, it still doesn't look very good on my uh, UI. I need to upgrade this Magtron way more. Round 18 with seven upgrades is not doing very well. 
All right, here you go. Yeah, I bet it is. But now we gotta go pick up a battery from Atlas Command, and I, I think Atlas Command was the place that was shut down this round, so we may have to go the next round. I think in the meantime, I'm going to go upgrade this thing. All right, Toxic Zone disabled. So we're gonna have to make a quick mad dash to get this battery in time. So we have to hold square over on this and then run for it. Okay, well, hold on. We're gonna have to postpone that because we have Big Boy up in here. Let me try and get this guy out first. Yeah, that's right, get slammed. I don't even know if the Magnetron is that good against him, but whatever. Okay, gotta throw this. Did he go over there and destroy my drone instantly? He, like, stomped on it. What a scumbag. Die. Thank you. God, maybe the Magnetron is just bad against him. I don't know. All right, I believe that activated it, so let's rush over there. There we go. So we got the battery. And keep in mind, you have to do that in a very short amount of time. Definitely spam the exosuit if you're going to do that step. Now we have to go over to value voltage, and we have to place the battery at the gas pump and defend it until it's done charging. Hopefully keep the crawler somewhat interested in me and not the battery. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Yeah, jump at me. Don't worry about that battery. Alrighty, I believe it's done. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now we got a red battery, fully charged battery. Now we have to go back to the man himself and give him this new battery. Turn that frown upside down. Alright, give me that key. Now we go into the burger. Access denied. How dare you? But yeah, this um this PAP station in here actually takes your gun from 20 to 25. So we can't do anything with it now, but later that will be important. So now we have to go down the sewers and we have to activate a new trap and try to get a zombie arm. The new trap on this map is a big old alligator that comes from the water and absolutely stomps people. But we're supposed to get a zombie. Yep, there we go. So we got the zombie hand. Holy crap, get me out of here. Um, but yeah, anyways, the alligator comes up, grabs a zombie, you have to shoot it when that happens, and you get the zombie hand. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade this real quick, and then we'll go use the hand. Put this in. There we go, grab the key card. And now we'll head back over to Burger Town, and we're pretty much done, thankfully. Anyways, so let's put this in. There we go. Alright, now there's a bunch of random burger bombs that fly out and throw it. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage to me. Three, two, one. Okay, so yeah, now this burger has a rocket, and it's literally going off. I don't know where that rocket was. I guess it was in the middle of the burger. I didn't pay attention, but very interesting. Indeed. Don't ask why there's a rocket taken off from the Burger Town uh, logo, but, you know, it is. Throw another... Oh my god! Okay, well, I didn't know they, like, blew up like that. That's kind of unfortunate. All right, well, dang. I'm gonna go get a uh, quick revive because I'm gonna be really upset if I die by a random flying burger. All right, give me that. God, could you imagine if my run would have ended from that? All right, burger bombs, tell me you've decided to chill out a little bit. I don't, I don't want to get absolutely demolished. Okay, we need to go back up here. Get the green key card. There we go. Now we just give it to Bubby, and uh, we're done with the Easter egg. There we go. Meat is murder trophy. Wait a minute. Is my man gonna join the fight? Oh, snap! Oh my God, we got a we got a freaking absolute beast up here. Oh my God. Oh my. This guy is insane. This is one heck of an Easter egg reward. I'll t I'll tell you that. Look, this guy's about to get smacked. Oh my gosh. Bro, another survivor escort. I'm having too much fun watching this guy run around. But yeah, like I said, all that's left I really want to do is get the Magnetron Mark 25. That would be nice. I'm coming, survivor. Just hold out for a little bit longer. Move! What are you doing standing there? Oh, now you decide to leave when the monkey's over. I hate these guys. I hate these survivors, man. A few minutes later. Yeah, I died because of this guy. I hate the survivor. Did he get escorted or did he die? Oh, thank God. Can I grab this in time? Nope. 
Oh my god. All right, well, we're we're just getting absolutely bodied right now. Yeah, better not be going down anymore. Okay, I'll take a free weapon upgrade. All right, let's go get to tier 20, and then we can start getting it to 25. Boom. Oh, it's actually just one upgrade that goes to 25. Okay, very interesting. Thought I would have to do it five more times, but I guess not. All right, where is this dumb survivor? I'm probably going to die trying to escort him. Honestly, you know what? I may let him die because that way, like, I could show you guys what happens if you fail a survivor round because it's in incredibly stupid. They punish you so tremendously over it. Survivor rescue failed. Power drain penalty. So, yeah, we get EMP'd and we have the power off for the remainder of that little logo at the bottom. Which is incredibly dumb, and we have to flip the power stations back on when it's over. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's just annoying. Yeah, power restored. Actually, it's not. Because I still have to turn the dang generators on. Oh my god, alright, we died. Bruh, that map is such chaos. Holy crap. Ah, fair enough. Really, the only thing I wasn't able to accomplish right there was getting the Cell 3 Cauterizer Mark 25, which, I'll be honest, is not really a big deal. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for Infection. Um, sad we couldn't make it to round 30, but we died at round 29, so I mean, it's whatever. You know, round 30 is not a mandatory goal that I set for these videos. It's just, it would be nice to get to round 30 after I finish the Easter Egg. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be Infection, the second ExoZombies map. Next video for the Revisiting series we'll be moving on to carrier which is my personal favorite exo zombies map but again i have not played the last map that much so maybe i will like that one better who knows anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want more definitely show your support in the comments and by liking the video and i'll see you guys in the next one